Hey there, Wildcat fans. Time for another one of our player interviews brought to you by CBI Health Centers in Berwick and New Minas. And today we're on the road. We're in Bridgewater at the LCLC. And I'm standing by with Wildcats forward over here. It's Ethan Kearney. Hi. Ethan. Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Always a pleasure to talk to you. So you're one of the uh, returning guys this year. You're a rookie last year. Uh, you know, tell me about uh, year one uh, in Berwick and rolling into year number two with the Wildcats. Oh, no, year one was great, you know. Um, we, we had a little step forward, you know, a uh, couple wins up from uh, the year previous. Uh, got my first year in the books, so all the, all the jitters are out. Finally got my feet under me, uh, feeling way more confident, ready to go. You know, 10 games into the year and the boys are rolling, we're buzzing, we're feeling good, and uh, I think great things are coming for Berwick. I certainly hope so. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, did turn a bit of a corner last year. You had a young team. I think there were a lot of uh, growing pains all throughout the lineup, and uh, a lot of those faces still there uh, right now. Uh, you guys are all gelling together well this year. Yeah, for sure. I feel that the chemistry has definitely increased. You know, I feel like the locker room's a lot tighter. We're feeling more like a family. Uh, we had great additions like Aaron Brown and Chad Wilson helping the boys out. You know, they feel like brothers. And, uh, you know, it's going really well. Yeah, I know a couple of, uh, you know, still skilled guys that you can set up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Use my playmaking skills hopefully one day to get them going. Well, you told me about a few funny ones uh, already. Uh, what was it, the, the Chad grabbed your stick off the bench and then scored? Yes, that's right. Technically, I guess you could say I assisted as well as scored the goal. Uh, you know, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tell us, uh, you know, about uh, your game when it's not just handing sticks off the bench. You know, what, what do you bring to the ice? I definitely bring a lot of energy, a lot of speed. Um, you know, that's what Benny looks in for me as a, an energy guy, a guy that can get the boys going, get the guys rolling. You know, either if it's a, a big gritty shift, uh, laying the body, I guess, if that happens every once in a while, <laughs> or just getting pucks deep and uh, plain simple. Yeah, there's a lot of guys on this team that are uh, definitely not afraid to uh, to get in there and mix it up and uh, be physical and work hard out onto the ice. It's you guys have seem to have come a long way in that department. Yeah, definitely. You no, know, we got a lot of you know blue collar type guys that are aren't afraid to get into the nitty gritty spots. You know, use their body, use their size, and uh, get to work. And uh, you know, what are you uh, what are you working on uh, this year? Everybody's trying to get better at something. What are you working on? Uh, I'd say just my overall game. You know, perfecting all the little things making sure that every game I'm doing the little things right uh, just to make myself a better player as well as helping out my team. Also, you know, this has been obviously a very strange season. I mean, we're doing distance masked interviews <laughs> as we speak. Uh, you're one of the guys who's actually, you know, doesn't have family just within the, uh, you know, within the province. It's been a little bit, a little bit harder for you. So, uh, you know, what's, uh, what's it been like uh, trying to play hockey this season? You no, know, it's definitely a lot tougher. You know, my parents are out in Ontario. Uh, quite a few thousand miles away, so it, it's tough. I don't get to see them as often. I think last year they only came out to two games, so it's you know it's not that big of a difference. I find uh, I have a aunt and uncle just outside of Halifax that they came to a couple games at the start of the year this year, so it's nice having a little bit of family here at games. I also have a an aunt in Digby actually that's come out to a couple games this year, so it's nice to see the, uh, those faces every once in a while. But of course, I miss home a little bit, so uh, hoping to go home for Christmas and see them there. Yeah, we've, we will see what happens uh, on that front. Uh, you know, during the uh, the off season, as everything went the way it did, uh, you know, how did you and, and your family deal with the pandemic? What did you do over the summer? Uh, over the summer, I worked two jobs, actually. I worked uh, two uh, physically demanding jobs that kept me in shape all summer. I like to, I had a home gym that I hit all summer. Uh, I would work all day, then come back home and just work out or just relax. Uh, my family handled it actually pretty well. Ontario was uh, pretty decent this summer, you know, we had a little bit of restrictions here and there, but we were still able to go out and enjoy as much of the outdoors as we could. But uh, overall, we actually had a pretty good summer and it wasn't that stressful at all. Alright, well nice to see you guys back on the ice. Uh, good luck tonight, I'll let you go get ready. Thank you very much, Matt.